Good morning. Um, we're asked to talk about our value with respect to our own work, so I'm going to talk to you about dead birds. Any cat lovers in the audience? So you know, if you have a cat and the cat goes outside, every now and again it will bring you the most precious gift ever, right? A gift that represents all of its skills, ability, knowledge, and it's something that you really need. And so it's looking at you going, here's your gift. And you're looking at it going, that's a dead bird. Well, that's not very different from what happens sometimes when we're working with our ministers and deputy ministers. And I, <laughs> I have to admit, I have been in a few meetings where, yes, I've delivered the dead bird. I didn't know it at the time. Uh, I was, we were going to, we were going to leverage federal funds. We were going to, we were going to make efficiencies in the healthcare system. We were going to solve all these problems. It was going to be so great. And they were seeing a dead bird. So what do we do about that? Well, in Nova Scotia, we decided that no more dead birds. We needed to be relevant. So we actually have a program where we work hard to find out what it is that are the current issues that face our ministries and uh, the various government departments we work with and, and what is top of mind for them and then how can evidence inform that. We make sure that that evidence is excellent so that it's of high caliber. It's something that they can hang their hats on, something that they can really go and make decisions on. But it's accessible. And by accessible, we mean that they understand it, that it's timely. If they need it in an hour, we can get it to them in an hour. If they need it in three months, three months, what have you. And that also it's a body of knowledge that they have access to, not a particular program or someone's uh, uh, area of expertise, but actually everything they need to know about that particular topic, and that it's legitimate. And so legitimate means many things. It means, it ha of course, it has to be ethical and all those kinds of stuff, but it also has to mean that it is relevant to the question at hand and that it's been contextualized so that they really, really can use it to help them make decisions. So if you've been paying attention, relevant, excellent, accessible, legitimate, it spells real. And real knowledge is the name of NSHRS program that is targeted towards pol health policy and health system decision makers. <clears throat> I'm not going to go into great detail because I'm supposed to be a lightning speaker and I don't have time for that, but please see me anytime. And uh, you can uh, also check out our website. But we, dis we discovered that most of the questions and issue issues at hand can be dealt with through mobilizing existing knowledge. So the Real Knowledge Program is heavy on synthesis work, all different kinds, everything from an annotated bibliography up to systematic reviews. We work with um, Best Brains with CIHR, and that's a great program, and we're very happy to be involved in it, but we created a second phase of that called Real Results, where we have our team actually work with the decision makers to actually write the policy or actually do get engaged in the program redesign or the evaluation. And I will tell you, for you talk about added value, that's incredible, and our evaluations are showing it, and it's becoming something that's really, really important in our uh, environment in Nova Scotia. So I'm probably getting up to three minutes, uh, yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave you with one thought. Um, if we want to be valued, and we want to bring value to health policy and health system decisions. So remember this, one, get real, and two, no dead birds. <laughs>